How do you say that? Hey guys, I'm Mark Scott, and thanks so much for checking out another voiceover tip. Please remember to like and share this video with your social networks. And of course, if you have a question that you would like answered, email mark at markscottvoiceover.com or leave it in the comments below. Today's tip is an answer to a question that comes from Keith, and Keith left a comment on one of my YouTube videos, and he wants to know about pronunciations. At some point, you are going to receive a script, and it is going to have words that you just don't know how to say. It happens. So Keith's question was, where do you go for pronunciation resources? Well, Keith, great question. There are a few different places that I like to go. First and foremost is dictionary.com or m-w.com which is for Merriam-Webster. So both of those are dictionary websites and nine out of 10 times you're going to be able to find the pronunciations that you're looking for. Many times you'll be able to get the audio version, which is so much easier because I don't know about you, Keith, but I have no idea how to read it when they break it down, you know, with the brackets and all that sort of stuff. I don't get it. So I would much rather just hear it. So dictionary.com or m-w.com, which again is for Merriam-Webster. Another great resource is forvo.com, which is F-O-R-V-O.com. All the words in the world pronounced. That's their tagline. Searchable, and again, audio versions of just about any word that you can think of. And this is a great one if you're looking for particularly tricky medical type things. So forvo.com is another really great resource that I love to use. Then, of course, there is howtopronounce.com. Same idea, it's a searchable database. You can bring up all the different words and it comes with different pronunciations for all of those words. So another very, very helpful resource, that is howtopronounce.com. YouTube, another goldmine for resources. All you have to do is type in the word and then pronunciation. So whatever it is, you know, cheese, pronunciation, and it's gonna bring up, usually Emma saying is a very popular one on YouTube and you'll get to hear Emma saying cheese so you know how to say it properly. So YouTube can be an incredible resource for stuff like that, and I find the pronunciations to be incredibly accurate, which is also very helpful. And then, of course, there's the default, ask the client. Nobody wants to go through round after round after round of revisions. There's nothing worse than sending in a finished voiceover and then finding out that there's a bunch of pronunciation mistakes. And so one of the things that I like to do with scripts that have some tricky pronunciations in them is to go through ahead of time write out those different words, send them back to the client, and just ask for a pronunciation guide. And ask for things like, does it sound like, or does it rhyme with? Those types of things are gonna help you make sure you're getting the pronunciation correctly. Or when I'm working with clients, particularly some that I'm doing English translation of foreign language, lots of times they'll just send me an audio clip of themselves recording the words, and that's very helpful too. Or get them on the phone, call them up and record the phone call, and ask them each of those words, listen for their pronunciation of each of those words, and then repeat it back to them, and now you have an audio recording that you can use as a reference guide for pronunciation, and that's something that I've used a lot of times too. So Keith, hopefully some of these resources help you with the tricky pronunciations on your next script. Again, guys, if you've got a question you would like to have answered about your voiceover business, leave it in the comments below, or get in touch with me directly at mark at markscottvoiceover.com, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash markscott, and like and follow my page at facebook.com slash markscottvoiceover.